What's happening, Maze family? Hey, real quick before we get to the video, I'm excited to let you guys know about the sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. Now, if you guys wanna know what HelloFresh is, you must be living under a rock. HelloFresh is a meal kit delivery service that delivers step-by-step -step recipes and fresh pre-portioned ingredients right to your front door. And if you anything like me, you live a busy life, you tired of running back and forth to the grocery store, you tired of spending $5,000 a week on restaurant takeout food, well, maybe not that much, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, if you're spending that much on food, you probably got a problem. Anyway, look, I'm just trying to help you save you time and save you money. HelloFresh offers meal plans of all kinds. So whether you just eat chicken, whether you vegetarian, you vegan, you can choose whatever plan you want. All the recipes are super easy to follow. All the ingredients come chopped up for you. Literally, all you gotta do is just put it together. And on top of that, the food is fire. I ain't gonna lie to you. And I'm picky. So for me to say that means something. The food is fire, for real. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, I'm being for real. You can get as many meals as you want, as often as you want, without breaking the bank. As a matter of fact, Maze family, y'all know I gotta look out for y'all. Y'all know I got to, so check this out. Go to HelloFresh.com and use the code DarylMay16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. You, you know I got y'all, man. We family. <laughs> for real, so if you're looking to eat good or saving time and saving money, go to HelloFresh.com right now and choose the plan that best works for you, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching. I love and appreciate y'all, and thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this video, all right? Good morning, class. I hope you all are ready to learn. I hope you brought your thinking caps today. Daryl, how you feeling this morning? I'm blessed as hell, Mr. Johnson. Thanks for asking. I had a great night's sleep. I woke up this morning. Thank you, Lord. I got up this morning, took a nice hot shower, and put on my favorite clothes. The bus was late, so I had time to catch up on some extra credit. Oh, but even though the bus was late, guess what? I was the first one in the cafeteria, so I got my breakfast first. What did I have? I had yogurt, I had cereal, I had a parfait, I had a granola bar, and some orange juice. So I guess you can say I'm having a great day so far. And to top it all off, I'm sitting here in my favorite teacher's class. It's gonna be a great day, and I'm looking forward to what you have to teach us. As you can see, I got my book bag, and I'm ready to learn. I'm telling you, Mr. Johnson, I'm blessed. I really can't complain. Oh my God, bro. I just got off the bus and I already want to go home, bro. First of all, I went to bed late because my mama made me stay up and do that stupid homework you told us to do. So I woke up late. Then my clothes wasn't washed or folded or ironed or nothing. So I told my mama she was worthless and she started whooping me. So my left cheek is sore. Then I left the house and got chased by a damn dog. Then when I finally got to the bus stop, the bus was late. And because we the last stop, it wasn't no more seats left. So I had to stand up. And the bus driver can't drive. I don't know how she got a license. The whole time I'm just rocking. So I got off the bus all dizzy and I threw up in the parking lot. Then I got to the cafeteria and guess what? One of my food left, so I stole off on the lunch lady. So basically to answer your question, I'm stressed. I'm hungry, my butt hurt, I got a headache, and on top of that, I had to come here for homeroom. I hate this class. You the worst teacher in the whole school, and I... Whatever, don't worry about it. Why school so early anyway? And why we gotta be here so long? I don't even know why we here for, bro. I can learn everything on YouTube. I don't need you. Like I said, I'm ready to go home. I got time for this. Don't call my name. Don't look at me. Don't talk to me, bro. Leave me alone, bro. I ain't come to school to learn today. I ain't come for that. If you get on my nerves at all today, bro, I put it on everything I love. I'ma throw this desk off that dead board at you, bro. And I put that on guard. All right, class, I need you to pull out a pencil and paper to figure out this equation. 3x minus 2sy ps5 minus sigma t v times 6 divided by 3 over 2 over 5 divided by 6 minus Nintendo Switch and divide that by 63,000 equals what? You guys have two minutes. Oh, wow! I'm excited to have my mind challenged. Even though this problem is for college students and we're in the third grade, I'm completely fine with trying to figure it out. All this is doing is preparing me to get my college education one day. My education is important to me. As a matter of fact, this problem's not even that hard. You should give us a harder problem. The harder it is, the more my mind will expand. These problems that you're giving us is gonna make me the smartest third grader in the world. All right, this is gonna be easy. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, I need help. What the freak is this? We're in the third grade, not college. Mr. Johnson, do you even know how to do this? This is hard as crap. I barely know what two plus two is. So how do you expect me to do this? What are those symbols? Those are not even numbers. How are we supposed to add numbers and shapes? And it doesn't make any sense. I don't even know why we got to do this. We're not going to even use this when we get older. I don't want to be a stupid man. Shut up! Now is the time. I'm about to go around and collect the homework assignment for today. Did everybody do the homework? Absolutely, Mr. Johnson. What kind of student would I be if I didn't? Let me just grab it for you. Give me one second. I know it's in here. I know for a fact I did it. You know what I just realized? God 
had donated, I forgot I was up all night volunteering at the food pantry. After the food pantry, I donated clothes to the homeless shelter. Then I had to go take care of the elderly. Then I had to go sing on the choir at my church. And after that, I remember I went home and I did the homework. But oh my God, I was so tired after saving lives as a volunteer firefighter that when I got home and I did the homework, I fell asleep on the table. Darn it! I must have left the homework on the kitchen table. But no need to worry, I tell you what. Instead of a two page essay, how about I write a four page essay and I'll bring it to you first thing in the morning. I'm so ashamed of myself and I beg for your forgiveness. I can't believe I left my homework on the table. That's crazy. And it, did we do? We had homework? We didn't just give us homework. I don't remember that. Uh-uh, bro, no, you ain't, you ain't saying nothing about no homework, bro. You, try, you trying to get us, bro, that cap, bro. He ain't give us no homework, bro. I Wait a minute, you talking about that six page essay you said we do today? Yes, Daryl, that is the one. Damn, that's right, I meant to talk to you yesterday after class. I ain't doing that. Who you, who, who you don't write a six page essay about photosynthesis? I can't even spell photosynthesis. Be all listen here. It ain't gonna happen, I'm not doing it. Do you know how long it's gonna take for me to write a six page essay about photosynthesis? Too damn long. Mr. Johnson, I got a life, and I ain't trying to spend it doing no homework. You mean to tell me you expect me to come to school for six to eight hours, to go home, to do some more school, to wake up in the morning and come back to school? My boy, let me tell you something. You got me twisted. If I'm spending all my time in school, what am I supposed to have time to do the important things in my life? Like play Fortnite and Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto. When can I do that, Mr. Johnson? Huh? You want me to write a six-page essay about photosynthesis? I don't even know what that is. And I still don't know what that is. So, to answer your question, Mr. Johnson, did I do the homework? Yes, I did, because my mama said she'd be my ass if I didn't, so here you go. Thank you, Miss Johnson. So, according to Miss Johnson, Jacob was acting up while I was out of the classroom. So, because of Jacob, the whole class gets detention now. You know what? You're right. We all deserve to be punished. One soldier falls, we all fall together. This should be a life lesson for all of us. We need to all watch after each other and keep each other accountable. When the teacher leaves the classroom, it does not give us the right to act crazy. It's on us to keep each other in line. You know what, Mr. Williams? I'm glad you did punish us. Because even though it was Jacob that got us all in trouble, we are a family and we are one. So though Jacob was the reason all this happened, we're right behind Jacob and we're gonna fall just with him. You know what, Mr. Williams? I don't think that punishment was hard enough. I believe you should give Jacob and the rest of us a harder punishment so we can learn from our mistakes. So, who's with me? Man, shut your ass up. Wait, what? You gonna punish all of us? We, we ain't even do nothing. It was just Jacob. I was in the bathroom the whole time, so I ain't got nothing to do with this. How you gonna punish me? I ain't even do nothing. That's not fair. Oh, so if one teacher get fired, y'all all get fired? No, it don't happen like that. So don't start that in here, because that's not how it go down. Today is his first day of school. Nobody even know him. You know what, Jacob? Since we all getting punished, I'll just punish you myself. No, come here, bro. Come here. Yeah, can you help me? I don't quite understand. All right, there you said you need help. No problem. So remember, what you gotta remember is you wanna do PEMDAS, PEMDAS, parentheses, uh, X. Okay, 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 so multiplication, addition, and subtraction, okay? It's PEMDAS. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna take this first number and you wanna divide it by 654, and you wanna take the other number and you wanna multiply it by the rest of the numbers. And you want to take all that and you want to divide it by pi. Remember, pi is 3.14. Bro, I'm about, I'm about to fail, bro. See, Ms. Johnson, I need help, bro. I don't know what I'm doing, bro. It's confusing. All right, all right, I'm coming. You say you need help? I all right, that's no it, bro. Like, problem. So what you want to do is, you want to take the PEMDAS method and you want to multiply everything. So you're going to multiply 600 plus 300,000. You're going to divide Damn! Let me get those stinky breath away from me. No, man, why your breath smell like that? What you been eating, chitlins? If I burn my eyebrows off my face. Nah, bro, for real, you need some gum or a mitt or some mouthwash or something, bro. Your hot breath was just melting my neck, bro. I knew I was itchy and I didn't know what that was. That's your breath, bro. Anybody got some gum or a TikTok or something? Can somebody get doodle mouth a piece of gum? Nah, for real, you need to get your mouth looked at. You got some teeth decaying or something. Your breath smell like cavities. You need me to bring you a toothbrush or something? As he was talking, it was just a bunch of heat. It was just hot. I was like, damn, I got a fever? Why is your breath so hot? You could have cooked a hamburger on my neck just now. That's all my life flashing from my eyes. Am I blind? Oh, I still need your help, but help me from now. And speak up to the ceiling. Maybe you'll melt the electrical system. We can go home early. Need to brush your teeth. Smell like garbage truck juice. What's the answer to number one? It ain't that hard. All you gotta do is you really gotta put your... All right, class, today we're gonna be doing something exciting. Today we're gonna be watching a movie. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right now. But don't get too excited, because you got a worksheet to go with it. Wait, we gotta do a worksheet while watching the movie? Awesome! That means I get to learn this twice as much. I pay attention to the worksheet and I pay attention to the movie. Oh, oh, everyone, that was one of the answers on the worksheet. You better pay attention. Bro, I'm 
I'm about to go to jail for slapping this little boy, bro. On guard. Oh wow! No way, Mr. Johnson. This is a brilliant movie. Oh my gosh! Yes, I love this movie. Did everyone finish their worksheet? I know I did. I paid attention to the whole movie. Bro, shut up. This little boy annoying. Wait, we have to do a worksheet and watch the movie at the same time? I can't multitask. I can barely blink and talk at the same time. And you expect me to do a worksheet and watch a movie? What? Watching movies are supposed to be fun. I don't want to do no freaking work. When we watch a movie, it's usually time for me to be on my phone. Sorry about that, my grandpa just broke his neck, but this is more important, right? <laughs> Let me just reach in my bag and find my textbook. Give me one second. No, it's in here. Oh, here it is. Let's see. Who paid the real one? You don't know? It's all good, don't worry about it. I'll just guess. As my grandfather lies on the floor in pain, I was a little busy. <laughs> Trying to find the right page. Give me one second. Okay, I think it was. Okay. This is the right page? No? Okay. Alright. <laughs> well, let's check out. Come back to the right page, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I was too busy trying not to cry. <laughs> you know what? How about we let someone else read? Bro, why would you call my name, bro? Bro, you obviously see I'm on my phone. You obviously see I'm not paying attention. Why would you call my name? Can't you see I'm going through something over here? My grandpa just broke his neck. But no, that's not important. Mr. Johnson wants me to read the paragraph. Or let me just find it. Let me just go through here and find the paragraph for him so he can stop crying. What's the page number? Here's a thought. Maybe if you was paying attention, you would know what page we was on, now wouldn't you? But I wasn't, I just... I just took, you know what? The hell with you in this damn paragraph. See this right here, bro? This is why nobody don't like you. This is why you the worst teacher in the whole school, cause you do stupid stuff like this. It's 30 people in this classroom. Everybody else hands was up but mine, and you decided to call on me. And then when I try to pay attention, you talking about, oh well, maybe if you were paying attention, you would know what page you was on. You think I don't know that? What I'm reading for anyway, you the teacher. How about you read the paragraph? That's your job, ain't it? They ain't paying you to make me read. They paying you to teach. They paying you to read to me. They ain't giving me no money. You want me to read? I'ma need a piece of your paycheck. Surprise! It's a pop quiz. And guess what it is? It's actually a math test. Clear your tables off. This test is 365 questions. And I'm giving you five minutes to do it, all right? Oh yeah, one more thing. No calculator can be used. No calculator? Well, that just makes it more of a challenge for me. Because one thing I do love is a challenge. You may can take away our calculators, but you can't take away our fingers. I don't even need a calculator anyway, because this test is going to be easy. The answer is 12. <laughs> I did that without a calculator, all in my head. Who needs a calculator, dumb people? <laughs> Done? Man, that was very hard without a calculator. Psych! <laughs> no calculator? I'm about to fail. No, I'm failing. Don't even give me the test. No, I'm failing. If we can't use a calculator, I am failing. I'm telling you that right now. It is 2022. Why are we using our fingers or doing math in our head when we have calculators? That's why they gave it to us so he can use it. Now give it to us. I don't think you understand. If you don't give me a calculator, then I'm gonna fail this test. If I fail this test, that means I gotta tell my mama. If I tell my mama, then she gonna whoop me. And if she whoop me, I'm gonna tell her that you didn't give me a calculator to pass the test. So she gonna come down here and she gonna be like, why you ain't give my son the calculator? You gonna be like, yeah, I guess I didn't want to. And then my mama gonna whoop your tail. And I don't think you want those problems. Give me the damn calculator or else. All right, guys, so for your homework tonight, I'm gonna keep it easy on you guys. I want you to look in your math book and do pages one through 300 tonight, all right? And if you do not show your work, you will fail. Wait, you're giving us all that homework? You must really care about our education because homework like this is gonna prepare us for the future. I promise you, when I come in tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have all the homework done. And you know what? I'm gonna do extra credit because I wanna be the best student I possibly could be. You want us to do what? Man, I ain't doing that mess. I don't even do work at 
school, so what make you think I'm gonna do it at home? You tripping. How you gonna expect me to go home and do all this homework, play video games, eat, play some more video games, go to sleep, and do it all over again? Man, you got me messed up. You know what? I'ma just start it right now, so I ain't gotta do it at home. <laughs> First question. If Mary had a goat, what was her cat's name? No, I failed. I'm done. All right, class, now that the work is over for the day, can anybody tell me where I can find some tape, a plastic bag, and a shovel? Anybody? Oh, finally. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, the hell are we? I think y'all going. The bell don't dismiss you. I dismiss you. You sit your ass in there. Hey, that's a good point. You got a point. If you're not done instructing, we're not done learning. Believe me, sir, I've got all day. My education is very important to me. There's absolutely nowhere I'd rather be than learning here with you. So go ahead, continue teaching. No, I'm pretty sure you got that twisted. The bell absolutely does dismiss us. That's what the bell is for. Look at that. And we the only ones still sitting here. So with all due respect, Mr. Johnson, you can kiss my ass.